Yep, Graham, this is where Steve Roberts said he'd meet us, his place in San Diego. Steve's really into technology. He never leaves home without it. I mean, how many people do you know can operate four computers and do an aerobic workout at the same time? He's got all the latest gadgets, computers, mobile phones, solar panels, CD player, satellite communications, VHF radio, and the best thing about it is that it's all built into a superbike. This is it. This is amazing. This is it. What's it called? It's Behemoth. It uh, stands for Big Electronic Human Energized Machine, only too heavy. <laughs> so how far have you been in this? Well, in the 10 years I've been wandering, about 17,000 miles. Wow. But, I mean, where's all the technology oh, I've been hearing about? Scattered all over the place. I'll show you. Well, this is the console. This is where most of the computing electronics are. It all unfolds here for easy access. And in addition to the answering machine and all the computers, this also includes a lot of the security equipment. There's a satellite receiver that notices if the bike's latitude and longitude change without my being logged in. And if that happens, it calls the police and says, hello, I'm a bicycle, I'm being stolen. Hello, police. I am a bicycle and I am being stolen. Please help me. So that's the high tech bit then. But this bit doesn't look like your average bicycle either. Well, it's a recumbent bicycle. It's a lot more efficient, more comfortable, and I wouldn't want to sit on one of those hard little seats for 17,000 miles anyway. It's 105 gears, which gives me good, good ability to climb mountains. And that's where you do your work? Right. This is a Macintosh screen, and I'm writing while I'm writing. And I'm doing that with a handlebar keyboard right here. So I'm oh, typing wow. in binary. It's like playing the flute. And every, every letter has a finger combination that goes with it, and I also type in abbreviations. Isn't that difficult? Not at all. In fact, I run about 100 words a minute when I'm on a roll. So, cycle helmet. Safety is important and all that, but this doesn't look like your normal kind of a helmet. Well, it does have a few other features. Of course, there's a rear view mirror, which is critical anyway, but there's also this microphone and speakers in here, so I can use it for talking on cellular phone or ham radio. Mm -hmm. There's lights on top, so it puts light where I'm looking, not where the bike happens to be pointing. There's three sensors that are used for controlling the cursor on the Macintosh. It's a head mouse. And uh, what about this bit? Well, that's a heads-up display. It's a computer screen that appears to float in space somewhere out in front of me. So you've got all these solar panels. What are they for? Well, they run everything except the wheels. This is the power source that runs all the electronics, the satellite earth station, communications, all the computers, the, um, the cellular phone, But lights. not the wheels. Not the wheels. And I thought about it briefly, but I think that would take all the fun out of it. I like bicycling. So, this is the third version of the bike, and you've been across the states. I mean, what next? Well, I'm building a boat. It's a little tiny thing called a microship. It's a little trimaran, and has very similar technology, but it's designed to go on water. So, we'll see. Oh, maybe we can look at that next time. Oh, I hope so. Looking forward to it. So, um, how about a lift? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a bicycle built for one, but you can hop on the trailer if you want. Maybe not. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> It'll never work.